Welcome to Holiday Stories and Rhymes with me, Valerie, and Grandma. Hi, guys. This next couple of weeks, we're going to have wonderful stories and rhymes about the holidays. I hope you enjoy them. See you soon. So Grandma's going to join us and have a little appearance once a week when we do our stories and rhymes. This week, we're talking about Christmas trees. Our first is a legend. It's the legend of the Christmas spider. Once upon a time, a gentle mother was busy cleaning the house for the most wonderful day of the year. Not a speck of dust le was left. Even the spiders had left their cozy corner in the ceiling and had fled to the farthest corner of the attic to avoid the housewife's busy cleaning. It was on Christmas Eve and the tree was decorated and waiting for the children to see it, but the poor spiders were frantic, for they could not see the tree, nor the presents that waited for down below. But the oldest and wisest spider suggested that perhaps they could peep through the crack in the door to see the glorious sight. Silently they crept out of the attic and down the stairs and across the floor to wait in the crack of the thresholds. Suddenly the door opened and a wee bit, and quickly the spider scurried into the room. The tree was breathtaking, and certainly more than their eyes were accustomed to seeing. So they crept all over the tree, up and down, over every branch and twig, and saw every one of the pretty things. Till last they were satisfied with their Christmas tree beauty. But alas, everywhere they went, they had left their webs. How seeing what they had done, they become very afraid that they would be killed. So they, they prayed for mercy. And suddenly they were all happy and all was well. And everything turned to ice and the webs became shimmering silver and gold. And since that time, we have hung tinsel on our Christmas trees to remind us of how one could save many and according to the legend, it has become a custom to include a spider among the decorations of our tree. And this is a, a legend from Germany and the Ukraine. So if you've never included a spider on your tree, it might be a new tradition that you can do in your home. All right, our next rhyme involves some Christmas trees, as you can see. I wonder how many we have. Can you count them with me? One two, three, four. That's right, four Christmas trees. And this rhyme goes something like this. Four Christmas trees in a garden shop. Along came a child with some money one day and bought a Christmas tree and took it away. So we're gonna take one tree away. And how many do we have left? One, two, three. Three Christmas trees in a garden shop, tall and green with a star on the top. Along came a child with some money one day and bought a Christmas tree and took it away. So we're gonna take away another one. And that leaves one, two. Two Christmas trees in a garden shop, tall and green with a star on the top. Along came a child with a, some money one day and bought a Christmas tree and took it away. We're gonna take another one away. And that leaves us with one. One Christmas tree in the garden shop, tall and green with a star on the top. Along came a child with some money one day and bought the final Christmas tree and took it away. And that was three, four Christmas trees. Well, now we're gonna share another legend. And this is the legend of the evergreen tree. One winter when birds were all having, leaving for south and warmer areas, one little bird broke its wing on its way and was left behind. Soon frost and snow covered the forest and she was cold and hungry. So she asked the trees to help her and let her stay in their branches. However, the trees are not always kind. The birch tree was proud of being beautiful and haughty, 
replied the birds pleased by saying that he could not possibly help him because he had to look after the birds in the forest first. The strong oak tree was reluctant because it was afraid that the bird would have to live there till spring and would eat up all of its acorns. Even the willow tree that seemed to be gentle otherwise refused to help or even talk to the strangers. The poor bird was in such distress and tried to fly some more, but her wing was still not fit for the purpose. Seeing her struggling like this, the spruce tree asked her why she seemed so downcast. When the bird revealed her miseries, the spruce tree offered her the thickest, softest, and warmest branches to stay. The bird was really glad to find some help. Inspired by the confidence of the spruce tree, the big and strong pine tree also volunteered to protect the spruce tree and the bird from the north wind all through the winters. The little juniper tree also piped in offer its berries to the bird to quench her hunger, and so the bird lived comfortably there and flew away again in the springtime, when its wing had healed. The Frost King, who kept close note to the behavior of all the trees, strictly instructed the North Wind not to touch even a single leaf of the kind spruce, pine, and juniper trees, while he was free to play havoc with the leaves of all the other trees. The North Wind especially enjoyed in plucking in the shining green leaves of the willow, oak, and bird trees and leaving them bare for the winters, with nothing to protect them from the snow, rain, and sleet. It is for this kindness that the leaves of the spruce, pine, and juniper are always green, and they're known as evergreen trees, and many of those trees are the ones we use today for Christmas trees. Okay, we have another little rhyme here, and we're going to do some more counting, okay? It goes like this. Let's count the lights in my Christmas tree. Can you count them from 1 to 20? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There were twenty lights on our tree. Can you count them backwards with me? Ooh, there's a challenge. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You count it from backwards from 20 to 1. Can you do it again? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Christmas lights on our Christmas tree. All right, our last rhyme is a little song, and it goes like this. It goes, it goes to, um, here we go around the Christmas tree, and we're going to decorate our tree as we go. Here we go round the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree. Here we go round the Christmas tree at Christmas time. We're going to start with these guys down here. This is the way we string the lights, string the lights, string the lights. This is the way we string the lights at Christmas time. So now we've got lights on there, and our next is some tinsel. Come on, man. This is the way we drape the tinsel, drape the tinsel, drape the tinsel. This is the way we drape the tinsel at Christmas time. Wonder what else we need on our tree. You're right, ornaments. 
Okay, we got an ornament right here. I stuck them on there too good. This is the way we add the ornaments, add the ornaments, add the ornaments. This is the way we add the ornaments at Christmas time. And what else do we need? The star at the top. You're right. This is the way we add a star, add a star, add a star. This is the way we add the star at Christmas time. Look at our lovely tree, our lovely tree, our lovely tree. Look at our lovely tree at Christmas time. And the last little rhyme that we have today is called the Christmas star. And it goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, Christmas star, way up high is where you are. Shining there for all to see, up on top of my Christmas tree. Twinkle, twinkle, star so bright, shine up there through Christmas night. And thank you, everyone, for sharing stories and rhymes. Oh, my holiday edition. See you next time.